Hello and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, we're back from more Ultra Hardcore, but there's a slight problem. Well, first of all, as far as I've been able to tell, it's not daytime anymore, but uh, we also have a problem. That. I don't know if you heard it, but there is a skeleton somewhere outside. Ooh. I did make the diamond stuff, and I got everything smothered up. I didn't leave anything back there. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, I don't hear anything other than that Enderman now. We are in desperate need of an apple. Actually, I had decided I was going to make two. Okay, there's the spider. Oh, skeleton down there. I see a cow. Basically, we have got to get out of the snow biome because these trees do not drop apples. I also do have to be very, 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 very careful not to take fall damage. Ooh. Thankfully, running in a straight line has red led me directly to the kind of trees I will need. Now, the only problem will be getting down and over there without taking any fall damage. And I'm going to have to go through trees and destroy them and all kinds of stuff, and I should probably make an axe. Ooh, stop it! I keep cutting through my iron, pun intended, but, uh... That's not a real issue. I'd actually been skipping iron, if you remember. I think I might use the axe to cut through the leaves, too, because I don't want to wait for them to deteriorate. Ah. Heck with it. We'll just cut down more trees nearby. Or I end up needing the wood anyhow. I'm sure we'll probably come back and chop down what's left of it with the the leaves that is because I need apples two of them very very badly and of course now that I'm looking for them I'm probably not going to be able to find any hmm Exactly how I wanted to spend ultra hardcore smashing trees looking for apples, but uh, it's kind of what has been forced upon me. Speaking of apples, an apple! Ah, oh, my inventory's full. Don't need the extra cobble. All right. As you can see, we have 19 gold. It's going to take me 16, which means I'm going to need uh, six more. I want to make a block. And as you can tell, I am not even taking chances. I'm eating that apple immediately, because half a heart is not somewhere I want to sit for very long. Come on, give me another apple. So, 
had some serious issues getting my fraps to work. I was using fraps uh, 3.5, but I've since had to backtrack because I could not get it to start for some reason. Reinstall or whatever, no matter what I did, it wouldn't start. So I backtracked to 3.4.7, and that seems to have allowed me to start it. The only real difference between the two, anyhow, is the ability to make solid chunk files, which was kinda handy, but it also caused a bit of a delay when uh, splitting videos. But, I mean, it saved me time on importing, so it's probably worth it, but considering it won't run, I'm just going to have to live without it. I don't know why it wouldn't run. It's a very weird thing going on, but... What are you gonna do? Ooh. My bow is where my axe normally is, because... I actually don't use bows as much as most people. Um, Why do I have so much dirt? This is just getting ridiculous. Remember when I said I was going to use the axe to break the leaves? Apparently I lied. Hmm. I hear a spider. I'm going to be listening to make sure he doesn't get closer. Oh my god, I never knew it could be so hard in order to find apples. This is seriously completely unnecessary. Tell you what, we're gonna have no shortage of wood after this, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think, like, I believe it had been tested where, you know, the breaking the leaves and letting them deteriorate, there's no difference between the, uh, chance of getting an apple and saplings and whatnot. Ooh, there's an apple. Uh, but... Who knows? That was based on somebody looking at the game code, supposedly. Whether or not I believe it, I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, now I do want at least one more apple. I think you can get them from birch trees. I don't remember. I know that I don't want a third type of wood in my inventory. I should just get rid of the, uh... The, uh, oak. Like that. And that. And that sapling. Ooh. It's... Wow, is it really getting to be nighttime already? It, like, just turned day. Oh, it looks like going for another apple is going to have to wait. But I'm bringing saplings with me, so I'll be able to grow more trees in a safe place. I don't have any bones or bone meal. But I don't have time to really be messing with that at the moment. 
As for food, I now know that it is wasted if you use it when it's at its highest. Because... What's going on here? Because, uh... There's two different food bars. There's not an overflow bar for the food. Uh, each food has uh, two values. One is the primary food bar, and one is the hidden food bar, or as it's as uh, Etho called it. I don't know if it's the actual name for it. A saturation bar, which is uh, well, exactly as it sounds. How saturated it is, and that. Saturation bar depletes before the. There it is. I know that's that big mass where the skeleton was. I don't hear him now though, so. Ooh. I want to make sure I go down here safely. So. But that empties before the real food bar. And that's what gets filled up, and that's why it'll take so long. And when your uh, food bar starts shaking, it means your saturation bar is empty. Where am I? I'm lost. Oh yeah, I blocked the way down. Because I wanted to make sure that nothing would come up after me. But, uh... As much as I hate to stick around in the abandoned mine shaft repeatedly, I really, really need the melon seeds. Continue on with this series. So... This is a huge patch of iron. So... We have to go back down there against our will. My inventory seems like it's a lot emptier than it should be. Ooh, why is this so dark? But, the good news is, is now we definitely have a large supply of wood. Am I really close to bedrock level? Well, I see... I see, uh, the redstone. Now, I'm going to start ripping out all these ores and stuff, because while I don't really need them, I've most commonly found diamond hiding behind other ores. And the problem I'm having right now is I don't remember where I have and have not been. Although I think it's pretty obvious that I have not been up there. And I didn't dispose of that iron pick I had. I actually used it up digging out... Uh, Ooh. Cobblestone? Mm, like, in that little area where I was at? Really? What? Oh. Interesting. But I used it digging up cobblestone, because I didn't have any before, if you remember. And now I'm back to throwing it away again. Now, I don't believe I took care of that spider problem when I was last here, but I don't remember where it was, either. Which is not a good thing, considering I desperately need to find more mineshaft, because I've explored almost this entire thing, and I have yet to find melon seeds. Was it down here? Ooh, lava. Redstone, are you hiding diamond? No. Hmm. You know, really all I gotta do is walk around and listen for spider noises, theoretically. The only downside of this is... I don't know where I have and have not been. Ooh, more mine shaft, please. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. Ooh. There is up. There is an up. A skeleton noise. Hmm. 
hear it? Because I do. I really don't want to be in my inventory like this when I hear the sound of a skeleton. Well, I hear him t to that way, so... Please be more. No, it's only two. We need four more. There's definitely a skeleton over that way. And unfortunately, I think that might be the only way left I can go. Oh, what? What is going on? zombie. Now he's this way. Ooh. Okay. That's one way to find another mine shaft section. still hear this skeleton. The fact that I don't know where he is worries me. That is a lot of zombie noises. Oh! That was quite possibly one of the most unsafe ways to fight a skeleton I have ever done in my life. Oh, I don't think I can see a chest, but I don't want to leave any dark spots. Last thing I want is things sneaking up on me. Which, unfortunately, this being an abandoned mine shaft, the entire thing is dark spots. No, 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 no. Whew. At least it was only half a heart. I can stomach half a heart, I suppose. <gasps> no! Yeah dug out from under me, which was a very, very stupid idea. What? Okay. Uh, shit. No! Another half a heart gone. If I... Uh, I'm getting careless now, too. As I'm sure you've noticed. I don't like how many skeletons there appears to be. This is just getting ridiculous. There's no real good way to fight them. Yep. Oh... Shit. Oh. Well, blocking that off didn't do a whole lot of good, did it? Okay, I think I'd gone that entire way. Creeper! Creeper down. Obviously, the ridiculous number of skeletons. Jeez! 
Ugh. They're... What? Oh. The ridiculous number of skeletons indicates we have to be getting close to melon seeds. Right? Right? Ugh. I'm gonna end up dying just because I can't find melon seeds. We all know it. Melon seeds? Come on! I mean, gold, yeah, that's good, but that doesn't help me. I need melon seeds. Hey, creeper. Creeper. Okay. Okay. Uh, we won't go that way just yet. That way appears to be blocked off already. And I already burnt through torches. Spider sounds are never a good thing. And we're gonna need more coal soon. Because I'm just throwing down torches like there's no tomorrow. I don't think I've been keeping a very good lookout for gold either. I'm sure there's probably some that I missed somewhere. Okay. What? Okay. Um. Can't say I've ever seen this before. Yes, I saw that gold. Just wanted to make sure this didn't go any farther, considering I couldn't see any farther. What are we at? Four. Okay, we have enough for another golden apple if we had another apple. Okay. Oh, goes down again. Over here. Water. Hey, zombie. I was hoping I would find a uh, bedrock level chest that had melon seeds in it, because that would just be hilarious. At least in my opinion. I'll tell you right now, this diamond pickaxe is great. I do need to get obsidian, though. Which means I need to stop screwing around and get some obsidian. Okay, I've been down that way. What? Oh, that's... That's just great. What? I had been here. All I had to do is dig through the wall. No, I'd been here too. What is going on? Okay, there's nothing over there, yet I hear spiders. Now there's another impasse somewhere that I missed. And I almost wasted food. this up. Six. I can make a pair of boots. A pair of boots isn't really worth it, but I could make it. I gotta be really careful. Dealing with lava. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I hadn't just punched that creeper, I probably would have just taken damage. It only sounds like one spider, so it's probably a normal spider. But I don't want to deal with him at the moment. 
so I won't. Now, I know that this should lead to another mine shaft. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me. Thank you. Thank you. Heroes. Right? I've got a stack and a half. Okay, now. The spider can't get through there. Right? Hey. Okay. How does it feel to be trapped? Hope it feels good because. I essentially feel trapped because I can't leave this mine shaft till I find melon seeds. <sighs> it's like a plague. You want or you don't want it, but you can't get rid of it. Lava? Oh, you're another skeleton. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, making sure I got all these side shafts first, which I appear to have. Now, I hear more noise, a lot of it coming from somewhere. Right. See, now I'm getting lost, running around like an idiot. I seem to be really good at that. I need some kind of, like, visual timer or something that starts and stops with the same press as my record key on my monitor. So that way I can tell how long I've been recording for. Right, I already checked that. It just has bread. What is. Look at all these things that I managed to just randomly miss, apparently. But now I know. I know that in one of these directions, this one over here. Oh. Don't do it. I know there's stuff above me, but I don't want to go up there. This place is fucking dangerous. No, seriously, this place is dangerous. That is dark. Trying to get a better viewpoint on what's going on. Hey, more diamonds. Wasn't even looking for those. I'm trying to find a safer way around this mess. And gold. Wow. Now, should... 
be going into this cave soon, right? Or do I have to backtrack? Oh! Now the real... Ooh. 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 The real question is, is this become an abandoned mine shaft still, or are we just in a regular cave now? You sound down this way. There. Whoa. Okay. I saw the gold and wanted to get that as my first priority. What? Where are these noises coming from? I don't understand. Are they... Oh! <laughs> Um, you see that hole? Wait, is that a perfect tunnel? Okay. Locking it off. Is that more gold? Oh, damn, it is. Okay. We found a bunch of gold. Quite a bit of it, as a matter of fact. However, I'm now essentially lost. Okay. Lock this up. See, I know there has to be more to this abandoned mine shaft, because... There's always more. And I know I missed something somewhere. Had to have. Okay. Bucket of water. <gasps> more gold. I realized all I was going to do is wash out that torch. But, I was quite fine with that, to be honest. The amount of torches I've gone through today is just completely ridiculous. If I had one more fucking diamond, I would make a chess piece. No, that wasn't going to work as I tried. Oh, I didn't wash out my torch that time. I hear a zombie above me. So I want to be very careful about dropping one of my head again like I just tried. Wow, I'm up to 21 gold. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Now. I feel mostly safe over here. I know there's going to be plenty of obsidian over here, so I'm just going to block that off. 
place a torch down there for good measure. And lock that off with... You guys hear that water? Regardless, you're about to hear water. Yeah, I'm, I probably just washed out the torch that I had just placed. And I wear this I'm aware this is going to take a little while. Now, yep, see? Using water is very, 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 very good at harvesting obsidian. Just don't stand in the water. I was gonna say something about hunger, but uh Yep, I'm aware I just wasted some of that, and I'm aware I almost accidentally pulled a block out from underneath me that could have possibly spelled my death. Now, this will be the fourth block I've harvested, but I think that one block did actually fall in the lava. So... Oh. Okay. I had to make sure I wasn't drowning. Make a new workbench. And... Oh! No, I don't want to go down in there again. quite possibly one of the most dangerous things I've ever done. And hopefully I didn't accidentally click onto a, any of the other blocks there. From the breaking thing, I can barely see on that block. It didn't look like I did, so... Give me my water back. Torch. 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 I know there's torches down in there. And I'm not too concerned about it. You know, that workbench is still here. I will temporarily ditch the magma cream. And I won't even temporarily ditch it, I'll just leave it there. As much as I didn't want to get rid of it, I could get rid of one of these buckets. But you never know. Actually, I'll get rid of the flint. For some reason it still seems really dark here to me. Oops. I need to make one of these bad boys first. Book. Now, we're just gonna get rid of the rest of these sugar cane because we don't need them now. That there. There, there. There, there, there. And there. And enchanting table. Now. I'll leave the boots on for now. My plan is I'm gonna do a chance of two the whole way across the board. Um, because I want to make sure that everything's actually do four on these protection one I would love for more protection one that'll do that will do because what is the most dangerous thing in this so far to me skeletons and I believe specific protections like projectile protection provide twice as much protection as a standard protection of the same level so, I should be extremely armored up now. Uh, I also want to enchant this, which I'm going to put 5 on it. Sharpness 1. This is good. And then I'm going to harvest a workbench with my sharpness pick. You know, oddly enough, I actually feel cold today. I don't know, maybe it's just the uh, the stress of Ultra Hardcore getting to me, finally. But, I do feel pretty chilly. There has to be more. Because this is just retarded. Ooh, I sure left a dark spot up there. Uh, bucket of water... Oh yeah, because this looks even remotely safe. If I'm lucky, I'll find more abandoned mine shaft from following this cave. And if I'm unlucky, I will find a skeleton. Oh no! <sighs> I don't think it's feasibly possible to take zero damage from something. 
So, but at least I can be guaranteed that a skeleton will never take more than half a heart from me. I think I need to make my way back out, find more apples. Uh, I wish I could spare the gold to make a clock, to be honest, but this is ultra hardcore. You can't spare gold to make anything other than fucking apples and glistering melons. Like I said before, digging out different ores and stuff is not quite expected, but I'm going to go with it. Because diamonds like to hide behind them, and I would rather like to make a chess piece, even though I just enchanted the iron one that I am wearing. Okay, I've been down there. Uh, oh my god! I'm making circles! Okay, I want to backtrack. Hopefully... Uh, okay, if I'm right, this is the thing where the lava was. So I'm gonna be here. No? Whatever. I have a lot more redstone than I could ever possibly need. Ah, I picked some up. No, I picked more up. But I'm looking behind it because I said it before and then I said it some more and then I said it even more. You never know what you can find behind other ores. Hmm. Nothing there, but might as well check under this coal since I've been cooking, th cooking, cutting through my torches like there's no tomorrow. So, uh, yet another boring episode. Yes, being shot by skeletons and being losing two and a half health bars after barely surviving after being down to half a health bar is boring footage. Clearly. Ah. Oh, oi. Now, if I am right, this, why is that there, of all places, is the same, yeah. So this place is basically just a big circular maze. Also, with this being the way it is, there's a very good chance that if I dig up like this, I'll actually hit more mine shaft. And go away. Of course, so I probably should be digging like the other way or something. Ugh. I hate trying to explore mine chef sometimes. I really need like markers or something saying do not go this way ever again though. That would probably cut out a lot of the stupid exploration time. And yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about today. I, I talked about the uh, the issue I had with fraps being disagreeable. Ooh, what's going on here? Let's just randomly poke my head out like an idiot. It's an absolutely... Slime? Is that a ravine? Ooh, more coal. Ooh, more darkness. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, I'm pretty sure it's been about half an hour, but I want to know if that's a ravine. Holy shit. Look at all the mobs down there. That's right. Burn in lava, you bastards. Okay. Oh. I hear the trademark sound of a skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Oh, another half a heart. You know, before it would be, I heard the sound of a skeleton, run away! Now it's, I'm gonna be an idiot, and charge them. I really want to see if I can see any mine shaft through that ravine. But I don't want to get too close to the skeletons and stuff. Ooh, skeleton. I should have enchanted my bow, huh? Skeleton go. Screw it. Oh, this is dangerous. To be honest, I can't see a damn thing. I think I'm just going to continue my getting out. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to get out, because I can't even tunnel out, because there's so many caves. I mean, look at this. Um, hmm. If I had another cave, trying to dig out of here... I'm just going to instantly stop it. Not trying to dig out, just the video. So, I haven't been paying attention to see if there was a new snapshot out this week. I really should check that. Of course, so I don't even know what day of the week it is. Which is a reoccurring problem with me, especially with my really screwed up sleep schedule I have going on now. It's 4.21 in the morning. Yeah. I woke up at like 10 o'clock at night. That tells you how broken my sleep schedule is at the moment. I've been trying to rotate it around, but I keep on getting tired and falling asleep way too early. You know, I have 25 gold. And I heard a cow. Sounds very close. Yep, making more torches yet again. Because for some odd reason, I am being so torch happy today that it's not even funny. So, I'm thinking that maybe. See, I have, what, three golden apples worth? That'll bring me up to seven and a half hearts. And maybe I'll just brave it. That's all I can think to do. I mean, I have the potion brewing stand, but that's not doing me a whole lot of good. Ooh, it's daytime. Sweet freedom. And, once again, we're in the middle of a snow biome. I'm not going to F3. It's not going to happen. I wanted to F3 and take down the coordinates of that, but it's not happening. Oh, are you kidding me? It's about to be nighttime again. Let's see. Day, night, day. So yeah, we should be getting probably close to about the probably what 
32 minute mark or so, 32, 34, just to say rough guesstimate. So we're going to dig into a little wall here, a hidey hole if you will. And I'm going to smelt up this gold, which will end up passing a little bit of time. We're probably going to pass through this night time, um, just because we need apples badly. And uh, we'll start up, well, at the next day. All right, after, you know what, I'm going to harvest this coal, but for now, I'm Zinder. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.